There's a lot of talk about sending humans to Mars these days. If that ever happens, they'll need a doctor to go along. Just so happens our Mark Salinger knows the space doc. <laughs> Sorry, Eric, just got a clap in your face. All right, you ready? Yes. First time doing this. Exciting. I always thought I had a cool job. Yeah. Then my brother decided to make me look boring. You're a space doctor. Space doctor in training. Eric Salinger is studying aerospace engineering with a focus on bioastronautics at CU. It means the study of life in space. You can tell he's the smart one here. He also took a better spring break trip. I went to Mars. That's what I've been telling everyone. What was that like? It was crazy. I mean, it felt like Mars. We weren't on Mars. We were in the middle of the Utah desert. A group of CU students just got back from the closest thing we have to Mars here on Earth. They wore spacesuits, had a robot dog, and did medical simulations to learn how to survive on a different planet. There's just a lot of unanswered questions when it comes to the exploration of Mars, and doing realistic scenarios like this helps us think about how to solve those problems. So no matter how much modeling and design that we do, if you don't take the technology out into the field, you really don't know how it's going to perform. Katya Arkia is an aerospace engineering professor at CU. We're out there to teach a class that's focused on medicine in space and surface environments. Fortunately, at the University of Colorado, we have this unique program. It doesn't exist anywhere else. Arian Anderson teaches at the Anschutz Medical School. Together, they're training the next generation of doctors to figure out how we can survive in places like Mars. We have to put our students and prospective astronauts into these simulated stressful environments. Uh, we want them to feel immersed uh, as if they are actually on Mars or on the moon or in these complex and remote environments. Is that outrageous? <laughs> and now you know why I feel like the boring brother. Well, if you ever blast off into Mars, I'll be there on Earth waving by. I'll wave down. So the program at CU is super small and brand new. My brother is one of only two people in the first class that was established just a couple of years ago. He actually learned about it from a news story, Kyle, that we did right here on Nine News. And look, now I have a space doctor. All right. You, you have to have talked about this. Would he go? Uh, I asked him, do you want to go to Mars? And he said, most likely no. But again, I, I, you know, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity, right? Like literally. Uh, yeah, and the first, first couple flights are likely to be one way only. You know, that's the reason why I asked. That's why I said I'll wave to you. Sure, <laughs> exactly. We'll see. Yeah. At least uh, he's a space doctor. That's interesting stuff. Thank you, Mark.